What's up everyone? Hi, hi, hi. Hi. My name is Lean and you are watching Satisfaction UGTV. We are headed to Kampala Restaurant Week. I am passionate about food, as you can see. I have picked out uh, at least five restaurants that I want to go to, that I want to try. Some of them are places I've never been to before. Some of them are repeat offenders, but that's fine. It's all about the menu. I looked through the menus and I was just like, <sighs> like there's one restaurant that I was choosing with my buddy and I was just like, girl, ooh, like my mouth is watering. Anywho, this is day one and I'm going to take you guys through all five days of restaurant week, at least all five restaurants that I'm going to go to. According to Paul Guide, if you eat at five restaurants using your uh, restaurant week passport, which I have, I'm ready, okay? You get um, one extra dining, um, you know, casual dining voucher for free. And I'm just like, I can do five. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Uh, they say if you do eight, you get like two tickets to like a signature dining spot. I don't know if I can commit to eight, uh, but five is fine. So yeah, depending on what it says in the title, come with me to five restaurants on Kampala Restaurant. First impressions, this place is gorgeous. Um, it's very calm. A lot more light than I expected because I thought it would be a little bit like cutesy and dim and I don't know. But yeah, I'm actually doing this particular trip solo dolo uh, because the friend I was supposed to come with here bailed on me last minute, which is fun. Shout out to you. Um, but we're going to make the most of the situation because I'm out here. I'm in a cute dress. I'm feeling good. I like my earrings. They're from Shuti and um, I'm ready to have a great, great evening. I don't hate it um, the pork is really flavorful it was a little bit cold though um, and also I don't know if it's just cause of the volume of people that were here today but the meal came like an hour in after ordering so that was fun especially because like all I could do was text people <laughs> uh, but anyway besides that um, the rice is amazing I like stir fry the flavorful rice it has like lots of um, flavor in it I'm seeing the soy sauce I'm seeing the the sim sim I'm seeing um, assorted like veggies with the bell peppers and spring onions and coriander I love me some coriander or as the Mexicans call it cilantro um, I love me some of that I'm obsessed with it ask anyone who has um, eaten food that I've cooked just top it off with some cilantro okay um but yeah i had that with a glass of dry red um so yeah that's my first impressions of this meal let's see how it goes
um hi guys so today i'm at asian fusion so we are trying the food um it's mostly indian uh yesterday we had a bit of japanese so it was it was a thing but today i am excited to see how the experience is and this is one of the only ones that has like appetizers that come with that but away from the food the place is gorgeous like it's so calm i'm seeing the fountain like you constantly hear the music of the fountain it's just like girl whatever is worrying you straight to the side um yeah and it's beautiful and it's just surrounded by trees and gorgeous plants and stuff like that so like i think it's um an amazing amazing location i've been here before but the time i was here it was like really um in the evening so i didn't really take in you know the space but it's magnificent Um, so I just wanted to give a short review before it gets like darker I've been eating and eating and eating Yo! like let the portions not um, confuse you I looked at the food and I was like oh let me know I'm full and I'm not yet done like this is a situation where I might have to take some of this back home the food is hearty, it's flavorful. I got the butter chicken um, with the chicken lollipops for uh, the starters. So it's like chicken on chicken on chicken, but it pairs well with the Tasca cider, so that's a good thing. Uh, as well as a garlic naan. <clears throat> I love me the garlic naan, it's so good. But yeah, the lollipops are. Like, you know that kind of marinade where, that kind of spice where, you know, they really, mm, they really spice it and give it their time and their energy. Like, I love, 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 love the food here. Love the ambiance. It's so, so, so gorgeous. Um, yeah, I think that's like my, um, my final uh, impressions of this place. I love, love love their food the mongolian beef was just perfect oh my god and then the tusker cider the cold one just hits i just love the experience and i'm so happy to be here with lynn and i'm really glad she invited me to come along on this experience with her we can see you on the next restaurant so this was day two asian fusion Good farm. Um, so today we are going a little bit rogue. I'm here at um, Alchemist, which is a place I've been to quite a few times before. Um, but I actually intended to go to Ruby because they looked like they had a really cool menu and I've never been there. But apparently they don't open before 2 p.m., which is yeah. So I was like, okay, you know what? Um, same street, just go down the street, you know, go somewhere else. Um, and I'm here. I just wanted to do a little bit of a walk away from home. I'm taking my walk on the road while having a little fun with me, or a little cute little fun. Um, and yeah, there's a bit of reflection that I was gonna do, and I don't know if I can still do it now because I don't have a microphone. 
but we'll see what we can do and what we can't. And if whatever we can't, there's always another day. This is day three, and I'm at our chemist. Um, I'm having the, the short trips with some mashed potatoes. And I hope they haven't gone cold yet because I've been on a phone call for quite a while, but it's gonna be a good one. a bit of noise so I don't think um, my voice will carry really well but the first impression is that the book is amazing 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 it's a little bit spicy but it's not too crazy whereby I can't actually enjoy the flavor it's very very flavorful um, this is the second time I'm having talk on restaurant week. Wow, I thought it was going to be a little bit more adventurous than this, but here we are. Um, although this isn't typically a meal that I would um, order. Mashed potatoes, I mean they're great. I don't think it's hard to mess up mashed potatoes, so you know, it was fine. And even with even with the waiting that I had with the, with the phone call, it was still nice and hot, nice and warm. Oh my goodness, there's a freaking bee that keeps trying to get me. day four i can't believe i've been to four restaurants but yeah it's day four we're here at savannah cocktail lounge it's beautiful oh my goodness i don't think the video that i've taken will like do it justice because i didn't really want to take people's faces and stuff but it's so 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 pretty here and um we are ordering a few meals and I'm so excited to see what we can get. I'm here with my girl, Fiona. <laughs> so yeah, I'll do the usual check-in once we've had a little bit of a bite and we can, you know, see what we feel about the food. Otherwise, keep it locked. I love it. the Kavozi got ahead of us and so I could not not could not but like I forgot to record like our final thoughts our final reviews on the food but I still remember the sizzling pork it is my absolute favorite and I love that ambiance of that place I'm definitely going to go back and also um, Fiona's food because I got a bite of that as well um, the fish was so breezy like the meal was so breezy because even she had like a little like tomato like gazpacho kind of um, sauce on the side and it was so breezy like it had that you know beautiful lemony light taste and it was just it was i i low-key wish that i had ordered hers but then what i got was actually my favorite pork of all the porks that i've had because um having that with pineapple absolutely knocked it out the park like i'm thinking about it now and i i'm almost picking up my phone to order it on global again it was amazing 
Restaurant week, and this time around, we are at Molecule, it's in um, Kampala Avenue, so it's still in the heart of Kampala. Um, um, I've come a little bit a lot earlier because I don't want you know the weekend rush, the Saturday thing. Um, but we have come to the close of Kampala Short Week, and it's been ugh. what are my first impressions of the place? I mean, it's gorgeous. It is, um, there's, there's so many parts, the design of this space that make it seem like you're in a different place in every, in whichever section you um, decide to sit in. So that's, I think, um, interesting and a, a little bit exciting. So it like brings a sense of novelty every single time we're here because I'm not where I was the last time I was here. So um, yeah, that's fun. As you can see, the hair thing, we're doing what um, I kept in, you know, some of the style from yesterday because I was just like, oh, it was cute. I don't want to take it out. But then um, did like a little bit of a high bun, a high puff, and yeah, I'm feeling Africana today, okay? So yeah, that's, um, that's that. I think let's get to ordering and see what we have in store. is something that brings people together it's something that you know you share with with the people around you and it has made me realize that there are you know spaces in my life I think there's space in my heart for more people and to be a little bit more vulnerable and susceptible to getting hurt, but it's not just getting hurt for hurting sake or whatever. It's like I'm strong enough to deal, but it's also a thing of the beautiful moments that will come out of that. You know, it's 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 a lot more than just the potential to be hurt. It's the potential to be loved. It's the potential to have beautiful memories amazing experiences yesterday i got a gratitude jar and i intend to have it filled by the end of this year um and it's very easy for me to find small things to be grateful for but it's one of those things i just want them to be filled with amazing amazing memories that i can look back on and be like this happened i'm grateful that this happened i'm grateful that i met this person i'm grateful that i you know took the chance and called up this person and shared this space and you know um like it's something that comes easy to a lot of people but like i've said like you've been burnt twice been burnt twice uh, if you've been burnt once the next time we are not as quick to kind of let go and there's, there's there is an essential um, level of surrender that you have to uh, tap into when it comes to letting people in and um, yeah I'm ready to see what's next this has been a beautiful experience it has been an eye-opening experience and I'm grateful that I had the chance to be in this space and experience the things I experienced, learn the things I learned, take the L's I took. Oh, um, but it's come full circle, and I'm excited to see where life takes me at the end of by the end of this year. Full gratitude, Java. <laughs> I 
talk about serendipity because I had been going to all these Japanese spots um, looking for sushi and randomly here we are. So I got the tuna rolls and I decided to pair that with a glass of sweet white wine. I love my white sweet and my red dry. That's the rule for me. But yeah, let's take a first bite and see how it goes. You know they had like shredded ginger on the side and I never thought taking like raw ginger on its own would feel so refreshing. I don't know if it's ginger but yeah mm, this is the first um, seafoodie meal that I've had. Most of them it's been a pork fest um, of which Savannah won when they came to the fourth fight, but we're going to do rankings later. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed at least the first fight. It was very fresh, it was very herby, very, very citrusy and beautiful. I really, really, really enjoy sushi, So, but it's not something I have all the time. And it's just like, Actually, every single time I've had sushi, it's been like a happy accident. It's never something that I actually seek out intentionally. I might do more of that though. Yeah, it's really good. And um, I thought it would pair nice with the Tasca cider because it's very, it also has that freshness to it. But uh, apparently here yeah, it's out of stock, which is fun. Um, especially since it's like a lot more earlier in the day. Um, a lot more people, like not many people are here right now, so that's surprising. So yeah, I opted to just um, cut the kids And this time, I had them bring it with the food. Not like... I'm done with the meal. By far the fastest meal I've ever had on um, restaurant week. Um, somewhere more in volume, somewhere less in volume. But this has been like the quickest meal. Not saying it's not filling, but I think I would have it with something else. Aside from that, it was gorgeous it was flavorful it was beautiful it um, it had crunch in the right places you know a soft taste in others you'd think you'd be queasy about like with the tuna and all that but then it just it, it tastes good it tastes really good and I would order it again that's a wrap on restaurant week I finally made it to five that was that was my goal my goal was to make it to five restaurants and I did and I was so proud of myself I don't know if we can do the rankings right now because ranking according to like general experience maybe the food the options that were there the ambiance of the place I think most of the places had a very beautiful beautiful spaces so I can't really complain about ambiance but I think I'll just give like my top this is going to be an unpopular opinion but um, I think I'll drag Izumi last maybe it was just my experience and also like being you know a little bit thrown off kilter but it was it was not what I expected and also the options for the food were a lot slimmer than I would have loved because so it's just like the veg option and the non-veg option and I'm just like hey like 
I think a lot more places tried to give some variety and that was kind of lacking in that space. Um, and that's just the the menu for uh, restaurant week, but I think, you know, my opinion on it might change if I can go back on like a different um, occasion. Um, best portion, I will say, was Asian fusion because we got appetizers. No other place that I went to had appetizers. So it was like a two, kind of a two for one, which was, Amazing calls. Um, I think I'd had pork meals at Izumi, at Alchemist, at uh, Savannah Lounge. So that's like three different places that I had um, pork dishes at, and Savannah was by far the best. And I think it's just because they had um, a mix of pineapple with their dishes and I really love pineapple with pork. I can nerd out about pineapple with pork so many times but I'll spare you guys. Portions not so much. I could have had a little bit more but I've been eating the entire week. I feel like my threshold for how much food I can hold has grown for quite a while. Um, then um, Alchemist didn't really stand out but Food wise, I mean, it was ribs and mashed potatoes. It wasn't anything crazy. <laughs> it tasted good. It was really flavorful, but yeah, it was that. Now, um, with this place, I think that it was, it's, it's the most out of field um, dish that I've had. I've actually kept most of the cuisine east of the map. And so ending it with um, tuna rolls and essentially sushi. Um, yeah, that's still East Asian. I had a little bit more trust in myself to like actually do a culinary journey and do, you know, something that's more continental, something that's more with the pork ribs and the mashed potatoes. I think that's a little bit more North. I don't know. I feel like they are great because I mean, they have a lot of flavor, but at the same time, it's a lot, it's like protein heavy and also like to an extent, a lot more healthy than other dishes. <sighs> Don't quote me, I'm trying to be a little bit more healthier with my food decisions, mm, which is why I haven't had a single chip the entire time. I think that's my ranking of all the restaurants. It's not necessarily who was best and who was worst but all of them shine in particular different ways and yeah if i could i would have gone for a lot more but the week is over today is saturday it ends tomorrow and tomorrow i plan to be in the bed underneath so yeah thank you for coming on this journey with me um if you have watched all the way till this point I don't know, give me a wink in the comments, I don't know, something. But yeah, if you get to this point in the video, 